Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope everyone is having uh, whatever, whatever you guys watch this. Some of you guys may not watch it. All right, we have to the sea. This is your emotion. This is water energy again, getting into alignment, especially with the seven being there. Um, the seven for me, uh, when it comes to numbers and messages, is the energy of um, sitting still, sitting quiet, receiving the messages, and receiving the guidance, and also acting appropriately as you receive the uh, the messages and the book, you know, the things that we're supposed to do. Some of you guys needing to sit by the water. It's something with water. Some of you guys are needing to go uh, to the water. Some of you guys are needing to drink more water. What are the messages that we need? Fork in the road, buy the book and yoga. So some of you guys, hmm. Some of you guys could be at a fork in a row when it comes to a water sign. Um, you needing to make a decision. Um, I feel like you guys are guided in different directions for different reasons, or maybe you're needing to get a more grounded understanding of this. Could have to do with your tribe, your spirit team, your your children trying to do something by the book with the one and the one breaking down to a two, which is balance. Um, yoga. Some of you guys need to take some type of spiritual practice. This is going to help you really make a more grounded decision when it comes to this situation. This could be somebody um, connected to you as well. Coming to a more Zen place. This energy is, this card is giving me the energy of Zen. Um, that energy, okay? What is the message? If you guys want to go to a channel called Tales, T A O S Wind. They have a lot of grounding energy and also temple sounds as well. All right. What is the messages? We got go the distance, boundaries, going the distance and, and implementing boundaries in our lives. Taking a chance, taking a leap of faith also doesn't give me that energy. Loving yourself first. You have to put yourself. Some of you guys are really needing to position yourself in um, a place where you are putting yourself first and your endeavors in your life. And everything without self love, you can't operate freely and energetically in love. If that makes sense. So you're needing to implement more boundaries in your relationships. But this comes first from you. Milk and honey, taking some type of sultry bath, um, like lathering your skin up. Some of you guys, you have spots on your body where they're really dry. So some of you guys are needing to lather up. If that makes sense, it's some type of oil or, or cream or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to doing my goddess butter, but y'all know, so most of y'all know what's going on. So, um, a change in the wind. There's a change in the tide that's going to put you in this energy temporarily. It's going to be a major change that's coming. That's why they're needing you because I, without even thinking, like I said, when I put my cards here, I'm not thinking about how I'm putting it, but it's going to put you in this energy of orphan because there's change a lot of you guys are shifting out of a lot of relationships some of you guys are kind of going to be ill prepared if you don't get into this um, energy you're needing really to balance and ground yourself because there's a lot of shifts and changes and i really feel like it's coming more with your relationships in your life the ones that you really value so you're needing to zen um, change in the wind there's a shift but you're going to be prepared this also feels like a drastic fast move for some of you guys like the zebra got you know their belongings or whatever they need on top so some of you guys that's what that is children pay attention your love life is being affected it's not necessarily your love life but you're needing to be more conscious of the energy and the conversations around your children some of you guys keep giving into a situation that closes out and comes back because the five is changed. This is 10, which is completions. This is endings. And this is another 10. So you may be giving into a situation that's where you, you let it go. You give more into it. You pull back. And it's like a repeated cycle with generation. There's a transformation that's going on. For some of you guys, there's an ending completion that needs to happen. You guys keep giving it life. But some of you guys, this situation is transforming. You have to use, you're going to have to go into this energy to understand and overstand what is clearly going on with this situation. Because some of you guys are really in a confused energy because you're feeling like this because you're not allowing the completion to happen so the new beginning can happen and this is what's putting you in this energy 
and this doesn't necessarily have to be it could be with another situation another person or a family something that's tied into your family situation family dynamic but it's putting you in this tailspin because you're not allowing because you need to get into this energy for real all right let's see what are the messages Where are the messages? That page of pentacles is staying put. Moving, um, realizing, understanding that you have everything that you need to move forward to allow whatever completion or endings needs to happen in your life. What is the messages that we need right now? What is the messages? What is the messages? What are the messages that we need right now? Come on. Page of Pentacles still stand still. All right. So the Page of Pentacles end up coming out with the Page of Cups. The Seven of Wands and the Strength card. Yeah, this is giving me the energy of us having whatever it, we need to take on some type of adventure, some type of project, some type of movement. We have enough. Some of you guys are building up your savings. You're making more uh, sound and responsible choices when it comes to your money. You're not um, just out here splurging or whatever you was doing in the past. The Page of Cups is... Um, Starting this for some of y'all, this is a new beginning in your emotional world. You're learning to be mature. Some of you guys needed to master maturity when it comes to your um, maturity. Some of you guys needed to master maturity when it came to your emotions or some type of thing with a with a uh, fire. Not a fire. Okay, fire is here. But we have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and and Sagittarius. Why was I trying to put Aries and Sag together? Aries, Sag, um, uh, Leo, and very strong emphasis on Leo. So we got the, let's see, let's clarify this page of cups. Ooh, acrimony. All right, page of cups. Page of cups, please. This page of cups wants an offer, but it's a piss-ass offer for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this is a slow, um, this person has contemplated, um, even considered their finances when it comes to some type of offer. It could be a Capricorn towards Virgo or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This Seven of Wands is like, yeah, right, yeah, nanny, nanny, or somebody is running from somebody, chasing somebody, standing up to their shadow side. Somebody is a teacher, and somebody's shadow side could be coming in to throw them off their ego is not balanced the way it needs to so somebody is standing up and resisting the energy from their um their shadow side that distracts them at times from doing their work for some of you guys what is the seven of wands let's just get a clarify seven of wands seven of wands please seven of wands Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands, and Six of Wands, because it's victory behind you being in this energy. The victory leads to your, you're going to see something. For some of you guys, the universe is sending something your way, giving you something so you can feel more um, confident in your endeavors, more confident in doing something, more confident in taking something on. That The universe is literally sending some of y'all this, this energy. What is this strength card for? The power. Some of you guys, this is the strength energy that y'all being sent. To even complete a phase in your life, complete it, complete it, complete it. The strength energy, y'all gonna, it's gonna be like a, oh my God, I feel different. It's gonna be like just a surge of new energy, a surge of something that's gonna come in towards y'all. The strength card, please. The four of cups. Daydreaming. It's like a laser focused energy towards something. Like once you get this newfound energy like coming towards you, once you're able to get the tenacity, the resilience, the stamina that you need to conquer something in your life, some type of goal, 
and it's not nothing strong but like i said you have to get into this energy right here you're going to be focused four of cups can also be a little bit because it's right before the five of cups which is sadness regret so it's right before that so some of you guys could be leaning towards that energy but you know it needs to be done logically you're all you all together and every now emotions the emotional maturity is really coming in very very strong for some of y'all let me see give me another uh, card to go with the strength of uh okay the ace of cups a lot of love ace of cups i didn't even get let me see four of cups and strength card again strength card and four of cups strength card and four of cups the nine of cups this oh okay this is a lot all right so we got the nine of cups the six of pentacles the nine of swords the four of swords and the eight of wands behind it all is the energy of balancing when you need to make a move when you need to communicate all that stuff is coming into alignment the six of pentacles is receiving as far as giving as long as you're doing your part the universe repays you with what you need and it's a lot of anxiety around a situation where you are really committed to your self-love journey where you are really committed to yourself but there could be this energy of somebody in and out flaky but they want they do have this commitment to themselves in a in a roundabout way to where they want to be better they want to do better they even want to do better better by you but it's a journey for this person so you may if this is what you choose you may have to be a little patient with this person it's on you though you may have to be a little patient with this situation with this person or with this whatever commitment some of you guys it has to do with your finances coming up there's a there's going to be an increase in budget so the universe is going to have to provide you with um not say god they have to well, i say like that but they're going to provide you with something that you need whether it's money whether it's this energy like i said going back to that strength card attacking something going for the jugular moving towards something moving towards the things that we need to move towards the eight of pentacles yeah commitment and seven of cups we're rick we're working but some of you guys even though you're working you're pushing forward you're getting things done you still have this distraction energy like you're still distracted with the seven of cups you know because something is moving very slow for you for you and you're like uh man is this what i really want is this what i really should be doing is this what i really should be committed towards because it's moving so slow if it wasn't moving so slow i don't feel like you do it but it's really good because you're still in this eight of pentacles you're still like this could be moving into a relationship or grinding up to some grinding up <laughs> are grinding something with an earth sign towards capricorn or a virgo or some of you guys have that type of energy right now that king of wands is still coming up there's a lot of victory a lot of love with the ten of cups this man is still in a blind state and we have new excuse me we have new beginnings a lot of us need to uh, just really get in this energy y'all really need to get in this energy so we could be just calm when you're calm and you're at peace and you're in alignment you're trusting whatever comes free to you you're trusting whatever happens for you okay peace i love you guys because you know it's all good if you're doing what's right you ain't got to worry peace